Start with your scatter cushions by unzipping the zip and removing the inner casing from the cover. The inner casing containing the stuffing should now be separate to your fabric cover. Take your back cushions, if your couch has these, and unzip the zip and remove the casing from the cover. The inner casing containing the stuffing should now be separate to your fabric cover. Take your seat and unzip the zip and remove the casing from the cover. The inner casing containing the stuffing should now be separate to your fabric cover. Finally, you will remove the couch cover. Start by loosening all the Velcro from the couch and lifting the front of the slip cover off the couch. Then you will move to face one side of the couch and detach the Velcro straps from the arm. Then you will gently remove the cover off the arm. You will then repeat these actions for the other side. You are now ready to wash your cover. Please remember not to wash your stuffing and inner casings. Once your slip covers have been washed and are now semi-dry or dry, you will now start to dress your couch. Please note that cotton fabrics can shrink if not washed correctly. These will need to be washed and spun dry and put back when slightly damp. This enables the cotton fabric to mold to the shape of the couch. Polyester fabrics do not have a shrinkage value and can be applied completely dry. Firstly, start with your couch cover by taking the right-hand side of the cover and slip it over the couch. If you have a rounded arm couch, you must start with the rounded section and ensure that it is placed correctly on the frame. This will make it easier to position the balance of the cover. Once you have the right-hand side of the cover over the couch, you will now apply the back of the couch cover by adjusting the Velcro straps for optimum positioning. Once positioned correctly, you will then apply the left-hand side of the cover to the couch. The piping, or stitching, needs to be straight on the outline of the frame. If there is a slight, untidy look, then you can fold the fabric into the piping. The piping on the couch gives you a guideline as to the basic shape of the couch. The piping will assist you with placing the cover on correctly. Folding the additional fabric into the piping will provide a neater look on your Corycraft slipcover. Gentle pulling and tugging might be needed. Please be gentle. Once over the arm, you can now reposition the cover on the couch by adjusting the placement of the Velcro. Now it is time to put your seat inner casings back into the seat covers. Always ensure that the inner casings zip is positioned on the side of the cushion. Never position the inner casing zip in the same position as the seat cover zip. Start by taking the corner of the inner casings and push this corner into the relative corner of the seat cover. You may need to move the stuffing and inner casing around to ensure the inner casing is in the correct position within the cover. Now place your scatter covers over the scatter's inner casings. Please ensure that the inner casing zip is on the side. You may need to do some touch-ups in regard to the positioning of the cover on the couch as well as some additional puffing with the cushions to optimize the cushion's fluffiness. Voila! Your couch should now be dressed good as new. To ensure the longevity of your slipcover couch, cushion care is essential. Pat the cushions on the sides and center to regain the original puffy look. If you don't get the desired puffiness, open the zip and shuffle the corry fill to the areas that are still hollow or flat. The inner cushion zips are there for this very reason. It's also very important to take extra care when washing your slip covers. Corycraft recommends using a mild detergent powder such as Woolite. With your washing machine at a maximum of 40 degrees, use a hand wash cycle or gentle machine wash. Refit your slip cover while it's still slightly damp. Never tumble dry your slip cover. Remember, if you're ever unsure, do not use any cleaners without first testing them on a section of fabric that's hidden. This is important as we cannot guarantee fabrics that have been treated or washed outside the recommended washing procedures.